There's a growing number of videos out there that show using post-processing to remove noise uh, from, from different cameras, uh, specifically even the 7D, using programs like Neat Video or uh, the Revision FX uh, noise reducer, which is included now with After Effects. So I thought I'd try this out and show how that actually affects on a resolution chart. Surprisingly, you don't lose much resolution and the picture is usable all the way up to ISO 6400. Here's an example of a resolution chart at ISO 320. Now here's the same chart with lower light level at ISO 6400. Now here's the same chart with the noise removed. Significant difference. In fact, it's almost a good enough difference that it's comparable with the 320 ISO. So what does this mean for you? This means if you want to use a slower lens and uh, possibly shoot at a higher ISO value, you can do that and use post-processing software such as the, the noise removal now included in After Effects or use uh, the HD version of Neat Video, which is Neat Video Pro, costs $99, and actually shoot at a higher ISO value and then remove that noise later. Uh, personally, I would always shoot with the fastest lens available, but let's say you choose a, a great zoom lens with image stabilization like the Canon uh, 24 to 105 f4.0. Now, you might choose that lens and use that for video, even in a low light situation, because of the zoom capability, and just decide that you'll shoot it at a higher ISO value and then remove that noise later. So, that's one of the benefits to uh, using noise reduction software. Now there's another type of noise reduction that doesn't quite work right now, uh, but it was designed for video games and it's called morphological anti-aliasing. And it's a, typically with 3D graphics, uh, on the GPU there will be hardware support for anti-aliasing modes. Well there's been research on doing post-process anti-aliasing in real time with just a CPU. Now I've tried some of these methods and tried this software I've compiled and tested with 7D footage and it's not optimized to remove the aliasing at this time for, from a, a 7D image. But I would assume that in the future that it could be used and optimized for the Canon cameras in order to remove that aliasing present. Right now your best bet is to try to shoot your footage with your sharpness at zero and if need be take the focus a little bit off or uh, you know focus past your object just a, a tiny bit or uh, focus before your object a tiny bit to take away a little bit of that sharpness which can cause aliasing in the, uh, the moray patterns.